Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make this encouragement card using some products by Gerda Steiner Designs. We are going to use the All Cats and Buckets of Love stamp sets which feature these adorable little kitties and then the great sentiment that we're going to add to this card that says stay positive which is a really good message I think for all of us right now as we all are across the world going through these difficult times now with the coronavirus. So I know I've been feeling a little bit down and worried just because of the uncertainty of everything for the past few days. And I just wanted to kind of take my mind off things. And I was going through my stamps and these little guys with their great message of staying positive I thought was just exactly kind of what I needed to hear right now and I thought maybe some of you also maybe needed to keep this message in mind as well. So let's go ahead and talk about the card a little bit. So I am coloring in the background with some BV00. We're going to have a real simple background for this card because there's just so much going on with all the little images and all those adorable little kitties and buckets and hearts and um, everything else. So I stamped my images with Memento Black Ink, which is a Copic friendly ink. And then the masking paper I'm using is from Simon Says Stamp. What I do is I stamp the images directly onto the masking paper and then I hand cut out the little images and then I attach them to the fronts after I stamp on the card and um, that way you don't end up stamping over things. So that's my process for masking. And I thought for these little kitties just to kind of make it fun that we would give them all a different little um, design for their fur. So this little kitty is going to be our tiger striped kitty. We're also going to have like a long furry, maybe he's a Persian, I don't know. Um, we'll have a long furry kitty and then a calico kitty, some black kitties, and then a little brown striped kitty as well. So we're going to have lots of fun with lots of different little kitties in this video. So I'm using some yellow and some yellow red markers for the fur on this little tiger stripe guy. And for the ears, I'm using some R30 and R20 for the pink parts of the ears and I'm going to use that same color combination for all the little kitties. For the stripes I'm just drawing them on as little triangles on the edges of the body so that the point um, is towards the inside of the body and then the wide part of the triangle is on the edges and I'm just going to add it to the sides of the face and the top of the head, the edges of the feet, the edges of the little paws and then the sides of the belly there. And um, I'm going to use probably two different shades to make the stripes just so that they have a little bit of interest to them so that the color doesn't look flat. And now we're going to start coloring in our little Persian kitty or our little furry kitty. And to do that, I'm going to give him a base of C1 and then I'm going to start adding in my fur with just little flicks. Um, just like this, trying to go in even rows with my C3, and then I'm going to work my way from lightest to darkest. So I started with C3, now we're on C5, and I don't know if you can tell, but I'm trying to keep my rows pretty even so that it kind of mimics the pattern of fur. And then for my C7, which is the darkest shade we're going to use, I'm going to use a, not as much of it as I did the C5 and C3, and then I'm just going to blend things out just a little bit with the C3. And then for the paws, I just use some C3 and C00. So it's just going to have white paws. Now for these little guys in the bucket, I thought it would be fun if I made them little siblings. So we're going to have one that is a dark gray. And then the little guy um, whose eyes are just barely peeping out of the bucket is going to be our little black kitty. And the colors I'm using are the same colors that we use for our Persian kitty up front the C1, C3, C5, and C7. Although maybe no C1 there, maybe it went right to C3. And then for the darkest sky, I'm just gonna use a lot of the C7. Now this is gonna be our little calico cat. I just, I love this little guy. I love his little face. And we're gonna give him a base of E42. And then around his eye, we're gonna give him a brown spot. And then we'll add some to his paws and the sides of his face. And then we're gonna give him some orange spots. 
and some darker brown spots and then just add a little bit of shading and the same for the little spots I'm going to use two different shades for each of the spots there just to keep them interesting looking so the color isn't flat and then once I have all my spots on we will blend him out with this the um, E43 so I'm just still working on the spots here and now I'm going to take my E43 and just blend everything together for this little guy in the back we're going to give him a base of E51 and then our darkest shade will be E57 and I'm going to just concentrate that dark color along the edges of his body and then working my way inward with the E55 and I'm being sh careful here to keep his paws pretty light because we want them to kind of look like they're catching some of the light in the room and be a little distinct from his body. For the stripes here, we're going to give him some thinner stripes and I'm using my E25 for that. And at this point, I'm just filling in the little tail on our little tiger stripe kitty because I forgot to do that originally. Just using some of the same colors there. And now we can start coloring in the buckets. And I'm going to use toner grays for the buckets. And I'm going to make the very edge of the bucket there a little bit dark. And then the center pretty light. We're going to give red handles to our buckets as well. And the reason for this is just to add another color other than an earth tone into the scene. Because all the kitties, they're all in like grays and orangey yellows and brown. So I wanted there to be at least one kind of bright color that pops so we're going to have red for the handles on the little buckets and then for the hearts and the buckets are all going to be colored in the same way i think for the buckets in the very back i am making them just a little bit lighter because they're farther away in the scene so they would just naturally look a little bit lighter a little bit more blurry than those buckets that are towards the front especially that little bucket that the little kitty is peeking out of. That's going to be the one that will have the deepest shading because it's um, closest to us. So it's going to have the most detail as well. I'm just going to fill in the rest of these buckets here. And sorry if I sound a little bit uh, preoccupied, but I really am. This, um, you know, virus matter, it's making me, putting me really... Um, just feeling a little bit unsettled um, and I just hope that all of you out there I know that there are a lot of um, people from Europe who watch um, this channel some people from India not in, I'm sorry from Italy and I just hope that you're all doing well and that your families are okay um, so getting back to the bucket here I'm going to use some E25 for the base or E23 for the base and then we'll use E27 for the shading on each of those little slats of wood there. And I really like using the E20s for the bucket because they're really, really bright browns. And I just thought that they could stand up really, really nicely in the scene, especially given that we have that bright little tiger stripe kitty on the right side. So I thought we needed some really bright, bold color on the left side of the scene as well. So I'm just going to finish that up, add some shading with my E47 and just add a little detail to the wood grain with the E47 there. Just add in some little streaks. I think it gives it a nice um, wood grain look. And then we're going to color in our little bucket of hearts last. And I'm going to use my favorite red combination here. Some R39 for the darkest shade, some R29 and 24 for the midtones and then that YR12 for the highlight um, shade. And my method for coloring here is I'm leaving a little streak of my darkest color along the right side of the image, keeping the center really, really light so that little yellow pops a little bit and then just blending around with my midtones just to 
give it a little bit of interest to make it look like there's a little highlight on each of those hearts to make the hearts look rounded. And that's kind of the way to do it to um, just have the center be really light and then a really, really dark edge. For our little sign, I thought we needed a little bit more color in the scene. So I'm just adding some blue greens to the edges of the sign here. I think that blue green um, matches really, really nicely with the orangey tones and the violet tones and I just thought it would give a nice little pop of color. I'm going to put some little shadows on the ground here with my E74 underneath some of the images for whom their feet are showing or the bottom of their um, bodies are showing and I'm just going to blend that out and now we're done with the coloring so we're going to peel off the painter's tape and now I'm going to put the whole thing in my Misty and the sentiment we're using says stay positive. I just love that. And I'm just lining it up so the stay is right in between the little kitty's paws. And then once I have that just so, I um, stamped with black VersaFine ink, which is a nice crisp black ink. And there you have it. So here is our stay positive card. I just love this little kitty crew. Um, Thanks so much for joining me today, everyone. I will see you again soon in another video. And I really hope that everyone is healthy and, and doing well. Thanks a lot.